you guys know about influencers. The, the uh, many of them annoying, most of them annoying <laughs> influencers, Instagram influencers, etc. A lot of people try to become influencers. And in trying to become influencers, some people make things up. Wow. There's even a, an HBO show, I can't remember what it's called, but they did an experiment in trying to get people to become influencers. And, you know, they, they bought followers and likes and things like that. You know, I don't care about any of that. That's, that's fine, whatever. That's, that's uh, basic stuff. I, that doesn't harm anyone, in my opinion. What this woman did does harm people. This woman, this white woman harmed people by being racist and alleging that people of color tried to kidnap her children to become a mom influencer. So this is a very disgusting story and she finally is seeing some consequences for it. So if you have not heard of this story, buckle up because it's a, a true example of um, white privilege and white disgustingness and just influencer culture and the sickness of social media. This is out of um, SFGate, charges for Bay Area mom influencer whose alleged kidnapping story went viral. An aspiring Bay Area mom influencer has been charged after police say she falsely claimed her children were the target of kid a kidnapping attempt in December. Katie Sorensen, who lives in Sonoma, was charged last week with two counts of making false reports, one to a police dispatcher and one to a police officer. Each charge has a maximum penalty of six months in jail. The news was first reported by the Petaluma Argus Courier. Sorensen went viral last year when she posted videos on her now private Instagram at Motherhood Essentials. My children were the target of attempted kidnap, says Sorensen, sitting in her car, which is such a weird thing to even vocalize. But it happened, and I want to share that story with you. She then claims on December 7th, she took her two small children to the Michaels craft store in Petaluma. While in the store, she claims a man and woman began to follow her, allegedly talking about the features of my children. Sorensen said the couple didn't buy anything, but followed her out to the parking lot. She accuses them of taking two steps forward, two steps back before lunging for her stroller. Sorensen said she called for help, talked to the police, and then decided to share her story on social media to warn other parents. I saw these people. They didn't look necessarily clean cut, she said on KTVU. I what felt uncomfortable. <laughs> well, in her mind, it means they're brown. I felt uncomfortable around them. And instead of making them uncomfortable with my discomfort, I choose to remain in my discomfort. The videos had more than 4 million views before they were deleted. And almost overnight, she went from 6,000 Instagram followers to over 80,000. And also that's a something about the United States that it, right. those videos received 4 million views. That's crazy. But in short order, Petaluma police cleared the couple, Sadie and Eddie Martinez, of any wrongdoing. The Petaluma Police Department issued a statement indicating Sorensen's story had inconsistencies. To date, the investigation has produced no evidence or witnesses corroborating the account provided by the reporting party, Sorensen. Evidence gathered has served to support the account provided by the couple from the store, Petaluma police said in a statement in December. The police chief said the incident would also be investigated as a possible hate crime. Sorensen has not been charged with a hate crime, however. <clears throat> Sadie Martinez's daughter, uh, Isaiah Gonzalez, told 
BuzzFeed News, they saw the videos take off along with Save the Children proponents on social media. The hashtag is commonly used by QAnon adherents mm -hmm. driven by paranoid and dangerous beliefs about child sex trafficking. QAnon is a broad smorgasbord of conspiracy theories, but the majority of believers think a global organization of satanic pedophiles are enslaving countless children in sex rings. Um, on and on. So although Sorensen said in her video that she wasn't interested in pressing charges, police said in a follow-up interview she did want the couple prosecuted for attempted kidnapping. It was a good day today, not just for us, Sadie Martinez told the Argus Courier. It gives everyone a little bit of help. Things like this do happen, and we wondered for a while if she would ever face charges. I just wanted wow. to highlight that because this stuff happens every single day. And in a lot of cases, the white woman gets away with it. The, the white person gets away with it. And thankfully, there were, you know, store surveillance videos that cleared the couple and did not, you know, show what the, the woman, this Katie Sorensen, was saying. So thank goodness for that, because this could have landed that innocent couple who, by the way, reports say were buying a figure of the baby Jesus. Like they were just living their lives trying to buy the baby Jesus. And this white woman accuses them of kidnapping her children for social media clout and That's racism. Insane. That's jacked up. What if, you know, how many times has this has happened where, where justice is not seen? How many black and brown people are in jail right now for things that they did not do? Um, because of things like this, because of false reports. So I, I just... Uh, I don't know. I, I just think it's um, yet she another. She should be prosecuted example. for filing a false report. There needs to be more of that too. There would be fewer people doing that if there were actual consequences. Yes, consequences are, have to be had for for actions like this. You know, it can't be. It can no longer be acceptable to be to be racist and. Um, I mean, yeah, to falsely accuse somebody. I mean, what if they had gotten away with that? Now you're sending completely innocent people to jail for no reason. Like, what? That's just so messed up. Right. There should, be, there should absolutely be consequences for that. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statusquo.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as 5 to $10 a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statusquo.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you. Stop.